What's up, YouTube fans? Today we have the Omnigonics spin out review. Uh, this figure took forever to come out. There was a lot of delays and um, changes, and you know, it's, it was highly anticipated because Sunstreaker is one of the characters that Takara hasn't done yet. So when people saw the way this looked, you know, it really does look really cool, you know, and it has a very accurate face sculpt. So people were excited about this. Now, a lot of stuff has happened with this figure. My, my review is coming in pretty late here. Um, so there are other reviewers out there that have already done reviews. Now, I'll be honest, I did open this up and I did uh, take a look inside and look at the figure a little bit before this review because I wanted to see how bad it was or how good it was. And, you know, it does have some problems, right? Th there are some issues. Um, but I think... I'm going to probably be a little bit less harsh than some of the other reviewers have been because it's still a good looking figure even though it uh, has some of the issues but we'll get into that. Um, I also wanted to read something on a post that I saw on TFW2005.com and it's basically a response from the designer of Omnigonic spin out and it's uh it's interesting I mean it's it's not an excuse and it's not a a reason to buy this figure it's not a good excuse for what happened with this figure um, but I will uh, I'll read it okay guys I've got the uh, message up here this is posted by Omnigonics on TFW 2005 on May 17th. I'm just going to read it to you. I'll let you look at the back of the box while I read this. Uh, firstly, from the bottom of my heart, I want to stress how sorry I am to those that received a real lemon. I sincerely am heartbroken not only at the overall QC, but that I naively kept hoping that all of the concerns I had were going to be ironed out. They weren't. My baby was amended and adjusted without my consent or approval. That is fine for some manufacturing issues, but not for things I would say were fundamentals to the design. After I finished the design, there was radio silence for many months. Even I thought the project was dead. I trusted my contacts on the other side of the world. They took advantage of my enthusiasm and delivered a less than stellar product. The end. For a long time, I thought there was nothing I could do about it after frantically documenting and figuring out how to fix my test shot the day I received it. I came up with a few ideas. All ideas were shot down or ignored. I tried to save it. I really did. Because I wanted you to have a delicious piece of plastic to be happy and display. Now I'm going to take off my professional and politeness hat here because, well, I have nothing less left to lose. And also I believe that when you fight the devil, be the devil yourself. In that respect, to the people that had it in for this design from the get-go, I don't give two shits what you think about the design. I think it looks awesome, and he does look freaking cool standing next to the other MPs. By the way, I am going to show you a uh, comparison to the other Lamborghini MPs. Uh, most of you armchair designers wouldn't know the first thing about des designing a complicated figure like this. You talk a lot of shit, so stick that in your exhaust and smoke it. So here we are. It's happened. Spinout's released. It's done. Deal with it. Back on topic, the fandom decided to weigh in on this shitstorm that was final release. And rightly so, the factory churned out something several iterations removed from my design. Imagine my disappointment. Of the two I have in my hand right now, one is about on par with the reviews, what the reviews are saying. The other is damn near perfect. How? Why? What? Question mark. I hope the second one I have is the majority of what people will receive. I sincerely do. I don't want you to have a piece of crap. Unfortunately, I'm becoming less an optimistic, optimist, optimist is spelled optimist with a T, and more cynical. So some, a lot of you, will receive a dud. Those who are still in will need to fix theirs. A lot of it can be done with patience and simple and careful application of super glue or nail polish or whatever you are comfortable using. I have done my neck fix and it was easy enough. Poke a few pins out, shave some plastic, and done. I will document this as well as a how-to fix it guide for in the near future. The other issues may need replacement parts, namely the torso lock, shoulder articulation, that is the three pieces of plastic, that's it. 
perhaps even the extra ears, faces, but because why not? Anything else? If anyone would like to host the files, I have to break out the old vernier calipers once again on their shapeways or equivalent. Please let me know via email or PM. I want to distance myself from more claims of taking money from customers. And no, I have not and will not receive a single cent on any sale or spin out other than my initial and only fee of designing him. And for the sake of simplicity in the future, and to set the record straight, I am on my own as a designer, spokesperson, and creator of Spinout. Any issues of manufacture, production, and distribution of said figure is out of my hands and not me. What does this mean for the future of Omnigonics? Probably the last figure under that banner. Won't be the last figure I design, however, I can't snuff out this flame of creativity inside me. Omnigonics in name might be dead, but I am not. I have a few ideas left. I will update again once I have found a trusted person to host the files and also when I have done simple, clean, and clear instructions on how to repair spin out. I trust not everyone in the fandom is a man baby with the dexterity of a walrus. You can do this, I believe in you. So in summation, thanks to the support from the fans, I'm sorry I let you down. Legitimate haters due to QC, I can't fall on my sword anymore. Keyboard haters who didn't get enough love as a kid and love to twist my words in context, eat shit, and move on. I'm sorry, really, but I won't apologize again. Uh, so that's basically the message that the Omnigonis designer put up. I hadn't received this figure yet, so when I saw that, I was kind of like, ugh, this isn't going to be good. Um, it's not horrible. So let, let's get into the figure. The box is pretty much identical size to Masterpiece uh, uh, figure official Takara box. Um, it's kind of cheap looking, you know, the way they did the, the photos and the shots. It's kind of a cheap box, but the whole figure kind of has that feel too. Um, but that's about it for the box. It does look and feel like a Takara Masterpiece box other than the quality of the pictures. So here's what you get inside the box. It, it is in a tray just like a Takara. It does. It wasn't taped by the way. Here's his cannon, his gun, the, oops, the alternate head, and the figure. So get the plastic tray out of here. And When the first look, it, it really does look good. I mean, it, it's a great looking uh, Lamborghini. I think the design of this Lamborghini is really good. And if you've seen an LP500S Lamborghini, this kind of looks like it. I mean, it's got the lower front bumper. Um, this doesn't exist. This is not real in real life. There's no such Lamborghini with this kind of intake or anything. Uh, but as far as the design of the Lamborghini itself, it is really almost spot on. You know, the rear taillights look just like it. And the um, Bad Cube one didn't, I mean, it was accurate to the G1 uh, figure, or G1 a character, but this looks realistic. This looks like an actual back of a Lamborghini. It's clean. Very clean, uh, very clean back. And the front, very nice uh, detailing on the sides and the front. So, as far as looks, it's great. Now, does it roll? Nope. It doesn't roll at all. Um, and I told you I did take this figure out of the box already, but there's a couple problems. One, the back wheels are attached simply with a screw. There's nothing else holding on these back wheels. And when you turn the wheel, it unscrews the screw. So you have to basically tighten it all the way. So that's what I've done, and now the wheel doesn't turn. I mean, it does turn if I force it, but it pretty much doesn't turn. So that's kind of a bummer. I, I wish they had made an axle or something, a pin, rather than a, a screw. And the front wheels, while they do turn, they don't touch the ground. They're they're off the ground because there's there's plastic. There's plastic right here next to the wheel that's about the same height as the wheel. And same in the back, there's plastic that's right, you know, the same height of the wheel. So none of the wheels really hit the ground. I mean you see that one turning, but it's it's not gonna roll. 
I don't care that much because, you know, I'm not really playing with this like a, a real kid would. I, I wish it did roll, you know, but it doesn't. It's not a huge deal for me, but this is kind of sucky. The fact that the wheels are screwed in. I wish I wish there was a fix for that. I haven't come up with one yet. Um, all right. So other than that, very, very, very nice vehicle mode. And I haven't found any way to mount... Uh, and by the way, it does have good detailing. It's got orange uh, reflectors or turn signals. It's got painted lights up here. Um, these are uh, translucent plastic. On the back, they're translucent plastic. They're not just painted. They're actually translucent, translucent pieces of plastic. And then the exhaust is painted. So I, I think the paint is very nicely done in vehicle mode. I, I, I'm enjoying the way this looks. Uh, you do get a weapon here. It doesn't... I mean, it looks like it might fit right there, kind of, sort of, and, you know, it mounts, that's, that's not too bad. I don't think this guy mounts anywhere. I don't see any ports or anything for it, so that probably just sits off to the side. And then you've got his head here, so um, that's, that's basically what's in the box. Let's take a look at the instruction manual. Now, you do get this card. It's all right, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it's not it's not amazing. Uh, kind of cheap looking. I mean, they obviously tried to you know replicate the Takara masterpiece style. It looks very similar, but when you look at the and also it's bent here because the way it was packaged. But the but the image itself is kind of eh. It's not great. Um, but yeah, I mean it's nice. We'll read his little. You can read his little bio if you want to. So that's it for the card, and here is the manual. Now, full warning: this is extremely cheap. Really, it's it's kind of like everything. Everything is very low quality on this guy. Um, the instruction manual, the box, the instructions, everything is, you know. It's not it's not high quality and that's just a choice that they made they chose they went with a slightly lower quality on on kind of everything uh, so take a look here you do get instructions one way from car mode to uh, robot mode but it really doesn't talk too much about the accessories or about some of the details There's a lot of details missing from this instruction booklet that once you start transforming this guy it's it's much more obvious and I I didn't even really look at the instruction manual because it, it didn't really help me to be honest I, I was better off let's see I, was, I felt like I was better off just um, trying to do it you know just just start transforming oh, what's happening oh I'm sorry there you go. So they're not they're not terrible, but they're not great either. I mean, it's very low quality photocopy. Um, but but you can transform this guy kind of on your own. You know, it's it's not it's not that hard. And because of the complexity and the issues with this figure, I think it only makes sense to transform it on camera. And I don't normally do that. I don't normally transform on camera just because I don't like waiting for other people. I don't like waiting and watching a video, but um, I think this one is pretty important to see, to see how it transforms and to see the issues with transformation. So I am gonna try my best to transform on camera. I apologize ahead of time if uh, it's not well done or if you can't see, um, but I will do my best. All right, so kind of the first thing you can do here is flip this up and then flip back these wheels and they do kind of oh, see so already you see the problem with this wheel it, it came off I, I probably turned it too many times but um, there's a screw there and it just doesn't want to stay in it's a very very unfortunate thing well we'll get that fixed I was hoping that wouldn't fall off during the review but it did <laughs> um, this one I've tightened on there it's not going anywhere it's it's really tight. So you lift up those two wheels. You can take the back off here. And it kind of just separates. It's got tabs. 
separates in the back here. Okay. So now you've got the, the back kind of up and out of the way. Now you can pull these arms up and out like that. Up and out, same as the other side. Or as M goes, second verse, same as the first. Uh, and now you kind of see where this is going. Uh, the camera up a little bit. Uh, so the next thing you want to do is you can pull the uh, legs apart. Actually, let's let's pull this uh, canopy up first. Now it has two little tabs here and here, so you're gonna want to get those tabs out. I, I find the easiest way is to get your fingernail under somewhere, and then you can pop it. Um, so let's leave that flat for now. separate these first. So you just kind of pull apart there and pull apart here. Now you can pull the head out of here and he just kind of tucks in inside there. So you kind of want to fold that up and then flip this out. And you can get this whole assembly out of the way by flipping it up here. Okay, so now you get the head and the exhaust stuff up here and it is a little floppy it's not it's not terrible but it is it is a little floppy I've had figures that are more floppy than this namely uh, a polyon polyon is probably the floppiest figure I've had um, but what an amazing transformer that was all right so you, you pull these apart right here uh, actually let's save the legs for the end because you kind of want this thing to hold together so, now you want to fold these wheels in, and I'm, I'm now missing a wheel, so here's a screw. The screw fell out, so I'll just show you now. This is the only thing holding this wheel in, this little teeny tiny screw. Hopefully you can see that. So, one, it's, if the threading fails on this, then it's gone. You know, the wheel's going to come off. They really could have, they could have even done this with like a little tiny um, bolt or something, you know, something different. And this is very, very bad design. Uh, the other thing, this windshield wiper, it is detachable. It comes off if caught, during uh, transformation. So you're better off just taking it off and put it back on at the end. Uh, all right, so next thing you kind of want to do is get this get this thing in place. So you're going to fold these down both sides and then you want to move this back. This this piece has two clips that clip onto this. That's a, one of the biggest issues I think people are having is they have a hard time getting it to clip onto that and you kind of have to have it exactly in the right position or you won't get it. Um, it's like high up and very f far forward and then you can get it to clip in there. So you should see the black plastic becoming flush with the yellow plastic. That's, that's really all I can, only way I can describe it. Oh, I'm sorry, you got to put this in too. At, this, at the same time that you're doing that, you got to get this kind of between the wheel and the back and it's, it's a tight fit. But you can do it. Um, and then you want to get those two clips clipped on. And again, I apologize about if you can't see what I'm doing. It's, I'm not great at transforming on camera. Um, but that's it. Now, now you can now you can work on the front. So the two clips are clipped in. Hopefully you can see that black clip on that side and black clip on this side. They're both, they're both clipped in, okay? Now, you can fold this in. You wanna fold these panels down so they're flat. And it does get caught up on the pin here, so you gotta kinda work around that. And you wanna get this in here, <laughs> so kind of got to work it in there a little bit. It's Again, it's another tight fit. 
Hey guys, sorry we had to cut away for 15 minutes or so while I got this thing working. Um, this is the main issue, is these tabs up here don't sit securely. And getting it all together and getting the, you know, the little black tabs inside to stay, it, it is probably the, the biggest issue with this whole figure. Uh, but I do have it in there, so we're going to move on to the legs here. So you basically pull them apart, and it does fold out from the bottom, so you can do that. Do that same as the other side. And then there's like a double sliding mechanism here. So there's one, actually missed, you can see that. There's, there's this bottom part here. And then there's also a slide here. So you want to pull them, slide them both out. And then you flip this down. And it kind of meets up with that. And it should all fit together. Other side, same thing. Pull this down. And it is, it is a little tight, so you got to kind of be careful. You maybe want to just wiggle it a little bit. And if it doesn't come, just be patient. Don't yank it. Okay. So you get that out, and then you push it back down like that, so it's kind of like halfway. Same as the other side. And then you flip this down. Sorry. Flip this down, and that fits in there. And then these come down to cover his thighs which I think is a really cool design. I, I like that they thought about covering that up, so that's cool. And so the legs are done, and the only thing left is basically his hands. So we'll take a look at his hands here. Those are pretty standard masterpiece -y type style. Folds out. There we go. Okay. And we'll leave this one with the non hand piece and again you know his chest has popped out here and I mean I told you that is the issue with this figure um, I'll just get it back in there okay and there you have the masterpiece spin out or sunstreaker now yes there are a lot of issues this guy but when you look oh wheel came off uh, luckily this is you can just kind of push it back on it's not a big deal now if you just look at him he, he's not bad you know he, he's actually a good looking figure yes the yellows are different colors and yes the quality is really bad um, yeah, I, I'll give you all of that. I'll give you that this is, this has a lot of quality issues. But, he's a really good looking figure. You know, I, I think they, they designed a very nice figure. Oh, man. And this, this is the kind of the secondary issue is the leg joints are too loose to hold the figure up. I'm going to do a fixed video where we put some future in here and in here and in down here on this joint and hopefully we can see some improvement on his leg joints so for now you kinda gotta pose him very carefully in in sort of awkward poses oh by the way he does have nice ankle tilts here which would be nice if he could actually hold but he has a hard time holding so we'll get his gun in. So we'll get both of his weapons on here. Hopefully they, they fit. Yes. Thank God. That fits. <laughs> I was worried there's going to be yet another issue here, but it did fit. There you go. Yes, and the chest has come out again, so I'm just going to leave it alone. But 
I mean, he is a really good looking figure. I, I, I guess I, I feel like people aren't really giving him enough credit given that he has a good look. Now, I didn't put this wheel back because it was just, it's hard to get at the screw. So right now inside his chest, that wheel is missing. But I really think it looks good. You know, I think it's, a, oh, we gotta put this back on. It does go on here. There you go. Mm, I have that backwards. Yeah, this thing is pretty loose too. You kind of got to really push it in there. There you go. You know, I really I really do like the look of this figure. The the different color yellows doesn't bother me that much to be honest. Um yes, it is noticeable. Uh probably on camera it's going to be even more noticeable. But um I really, I think it's a good looking figure. You know, go over articulation a little bit here. Um, try not to have him come apart. Now he does have a, like a butterfly shoulder joint there. He also has the rotation there. He's got a double jointed elbow, so you get full motion there. Very nice joints. This guy has all the joints you'd want in a rotating wrist. And the standard masterpiece style hand. No problems there. Uh, the head is on a, seems like a ball joint, but it, because of the way there's issues with transformation, when you try to move the head, it kind of gets in the way, and it also pops out this thing. And so you got to get that back in there. So while the head is articulated, you really can't do it without making the figure come apart. So in that sense it's not really articulated I mean you do you can get him with a neck here and that's about the best you can do uh, the legs do have uh, a full forward motion there it's hindered on the back by the skirt there which is not movable it also has motion all the way out so he can do the splits he has a double jointed knee which is just a part of the transformation he does have ankle tilts and ankle rockers. He's got both. Um, there is a tiny bit of reverse um, ab crunch backwards, but not forward. So I wouldn't really even call that crunch. So he has quite a bit of articulation, but because of the looseness and all the issues, you can't utilize them. And he tends to kind of fall apart. And let's get him next to Sideswipe here. Hopefully in a similar pose. Now he does, he is very forward heavy uh, because the legs have no strength so he tends to fall forward. So you kind of have to be very particular about how you pose him. And when we get the fi the fixed video done, we'll, we'll show off kind of some better poses. For now, this is the best he's going to be. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Stand up. I really wanted to... Uh, I really wanted this figure to be good. You know, I wanted it to be better than what I had seen in reviews, but it isn't. Um, but standing next to Sideswipe, he really looks good. You know, I think it's a good-looking character. Uh, he is slightly taller than than Sideswipe. Um, it might be the way I have it posed, but he is, he is slightly taller. Shoulders about the same, <coughs> but his chest is <coughs> a little bit higher, excuse me. And his head is a little bit higher. Now, there are a lot of fixes coming out for this figure because people just, people love the figure, they just hate the QC. So, the Omnigonics, the designer, has actually posted a bunch of different fixes on TFW 2005. And he's actually going to be selling, unfortunately, it's not free. you got to pay for the replacement parts that he's going to use shape ways to make those. But, 
um, they are coming out with parts that you can use to repair your your uh, spin out figure. So so that might resolve some of the issues that I think people have, uh, and that might even make this figure you know worth purchasing. So that's about it, guys. Um, uh, we do have the alternate head here. I'm going to uh, show this off in a fix video. So I'm going to do a fix video. I'm going to do a couple couple fixes. Um, we're going to get these joints tightened up. We are going to try to fix the wheels. Um, these, I'm not sure there's much you can do, but um, the inside ones definitely fall off. I'm going to try to find a fix for that and and show it off and show you how I how we do it. it. It's pretty tough because of the way this is designed. It's hard to get at it. Um, but I will try to show that off. Um, by the way, the back of this figure is extremely clean. It, it looks really good from the back. He has a really cool looking back. He's got the rear tail lights there. It's it's a nice design and I think that's what um, that's why people are so wanting this figure to be good and you know, I'll admit it's not. It's not good, but it could be. It could be good. So yeah. Oh, the other thing we're gonna do is we'll get the sticker on there, the uh, Autobot logo. Probably um, one of the shiny logos. Trying to show you one. Probably one of these guys. They'll go right there. Maybe even smaller one. Just so that. Uh, we can make him look like the official figure. Um, that's about it, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully, you get to see my fixed video. I'll try to post that in the next few days on the uh, joints and also the stickers and the wheels. All right, so we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please uh, subscribe and like. Bye.